welcome everyone to the association in today's video we will hop in here and uh, do a real quick tutorial on building a loft don't see too many uh, creators out there building lofts in their projects so I thought we'd hop in here and show you how that is done so for the beginners out there this would be maybe a mid-level tutorial it's definitely not a beginner tutorial anyway just want to put that out there so to get started, of course, we want to go into preferences, and if we look at the bottom here, that's where the uh, meat and potatoes are. So you got your wall thickness, wall height, floor, you know, new level, floor thickness, all that stuff. Um, you can copycat if you'd like off of what you see here, or you can, you know, it's called preferences for a reason, right? So you can set yours up how you see fit. Uh, as a little disclaimer, if you have a project that you want to put the loft into, we recommend that you do a practice run first because sometimes we screw up, we skip steps, things like that. So let's get into it. First thing you need to do is go in and find a virtual visitor. You don't want to, you know, by default, this is set up for aerial mode and you want to be in virtual visitor. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing our walls. Control shift W, I think, or you can just go up and click the wall icon at the top. Let's go ahead and draw these walls. Now, really super common architecture or really basic architecture dictates that if you want to go ahead and build a loft, you need to have a room below to be able to put the loft above. So you'll see what we're doing here. We're gonna put a little room up at the top, right here. And you can see here, we're gonna mess up here. So we're gonna join these walls. This is a little tip if you, highlight these walls I think control to highlight them and then control alt J that will highlight your walls for you so just a little tip that we like to throw in to our tutorials okay as you can see there there is our, our space kind of added some carpeting and some wall texture color etc uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to copy paste to uh, take this structure to the next uh, story and you know what i'm a little early here wait a minute no let's let's not do that uh, let's do next level we need to create the level first before we uh, copy paste and i don't see it here yeah i'm not seeing it at all that's odd hmm i just like to show on the interface where it's at uh, we always use keyboard shortcuts. I, I guess that's why we're not seeing it here. So we're going to go ahead and do, I think it's Control alt n And that'll get us, there we go. And there's our new level. So we're, we're going to go back down to level 1 or level 0, as it is here. And we're going to highlight this. Long, you know, left click. Control c And then we're going to go up and Control v And without even trying, there's our second level. So, there we go. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and display all levels because, you know, we want to see all levels. All right. What's the next thing here? We need to go ahead and take out the ceiling here because where we're going, we don't need them. We're just up. So <laughs> let's go back up to our second story. I'm going to control C and control V here. And we're going to make a duplicate of the second story. And we're going to set that aside just for the moment gonna go in here and I'm gonna start deleting points from the room I'm gonna delete two of them in our case and we're gonna push that back and there's the very beginnings of our loft so a loft is now born now we need to go in here and take out the, the ceiling here and in this one we're gonna go ahead and take out the nope don't want that And I think I took out the floor. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think we took out the floor there. Okay, so. I'm voiceovering, folks. Okay, I'm voiceovering. Don't judge. Okay, so. Uh, we, as you can see there, we have the baseboard running around. We're going to take care of that in just a hot second. But as you can see up there, there's our loft. Now, it's, it's very, very unprofessional. We have to clean it up a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the baseboard up here. Perfect. Now, baseboard's gone. Okay, so now I think we're going to go ahead and we need to create a wall. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and in here 
back into preferences, I think. And we're going to lower our wall height because it definitely doesn't need to be 12 feet. And what we're going to do is build a loft, or a loft. Well, we are building a loft. We're going to build a wall for our, our overlook. So, and right there it is. There's your wall. It looks a little too high. We may go ahead and adjust on that um, in just a second. Just checking it out. Mm, yeah, it seems a little, a little high. We can hop up here and actually see how it is. But I'm going to go ahead, before I even do that, and I'm going to... I think I need to adjust the uh, the room here. I'll do that in a second. Okay, so. That's, there we go, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we just adjusted the room to conform inside the wall. That starts to clean things up here and give it a more professional look. So even though we're not doing client jobs, you know, we wanna make it appear that maybe we are. So, I mean, we probably would be doing SketchUp if we were doing client client jobs, but just saying. Okay, uh, we need to do, we need to go ahead and lower the uh, wall height a little bit more because we're not really happy with the the height there. Okay, yeah, that'll do for now, I guess. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. Let's do with this. I'm trying to clean this up here. So we're going to move the downstairs space out. We're not going to copy paste it. We're just gonna move it out of the way. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna draw a wall just like we did upstairs in the same place. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it is lined up. All right, and there's our ceiling right there. Perfect. And I think we need to go in and delete the floor. Okay, so the floor is gone. And there we go, we'll put that back. And there you go, nice nice and clean, nice and professional right there. That's awesome. So there is our loft, and that's pretty much it. The only thing I need to do is go back up here and maybe lower the uh, wall height because it is an overlook. You kind of want to look over. And so I'm going to lower this down once again. And now I think we're getting somewhere. This wall's a little thick too, just in, in our opinion. And if you don't want to put a wall, you can put a rail. But you still need to put the wall, okay? Maybe make it like a foot or half, half, you know, six, six inches, and then add your railing, however you want to do it. But yeah, there we go. And now you can actually look. Oh, now this is a thing too. I forgot to mention it as we we're going in, in the video. You always want to seat your your room, okay? I missed that step. Shame on me. That's why I always say do a test project first because, again, sometimes we make mistakes. But this is more of a tip. I'm going to make sure you go around and you seat your room. You're going to get the dots there, the circles, and there you go. Because, you know, rain and wind's not your friend. You don't you don't want that coming to your project. But as you can see, let me just lower this down one more time. Perfect. And now you can look over to the living room, see what the kids are doing, make sure you're not getting into trouble, you know, <laughs> theoretically. But there you go, folks. Let me just show you an example. This is the project that... Uh, well, we won't be working on it for a while. This is, I don't know, maybe a year out. We've got so many projects, it's ridiculous. And we're not working on any more until the ones that we've created are all finished. Anyway, there's our spiral staircase. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. But as you can see, for the veterans out there, and for those of you who use Sweet Home 3D, if you put a staircase in that's round, you're going to have a square space on either, on all four sides of that staircase. As you can see, we have no space, and so we may do a tutorial on that, and if you'd like us to do one, leave a comment. You folks don't leave enough comments on the channel. You're just leaving us hanging, guys. You're just leaving us hanging. Anyway, well, there's our loft. This is a lot bigger loft. We're going to add a, uh, you know, a family room here to the space, but that's it. That's, that's your loft. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Consider subscribing. If you're new, ring the bell. You know what to do. You know what to do. We'd love to have you on board at, on the channel. So with that, um, did I say leave a like? Leave a like. That'd be great. But with that, folks, we'll see you in the next one. Signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody.